for, for me, you know, Islam was something that was instilled in me from me such a young age. Like uh, my father was a, is a very pious man. He still is a very pious man. And uh, he's been praying ever since I can remember, you know, and by the time I was like five years old, I think my dad had already been to Hajj something like six or seven times. So my dad, like I said, my dad's a very pious man. And so praying was a, a must in our household. And, um, you know, to me, it was just like second nature. We, we, it was just like we had to pray. We didn't know any different. We knew that, okay, when it was time to pray, you prayed. When it was time to fast, you fasted. You know, we, ne- we never complained. We never, we never argued about it. We never said, no, we don't want to do that. It was just something that we grew up seeing and, and knowing that we had to do that. And so for me, you know, obviously um, I fell in love with the sport of boxing and um, I quickly learned that happiness doesn't come through boxing or to come through titles because I used to say that winning this world title would give me a lifetime of happiness, but it didn't. It, it would give me a short, you know, a short time of happiness. That's the truth. You know, it would give me like a, you know, a little bit of happiness, but um, it would not, it wouldn't, it wouldn't give me a lifetime of happiness. That's for sure. You know, and yeah. Um, a lot of things have happened in my life. You know, the bo- sport of boxing has been good to me, but it's also been bad to me. Um, you know, I've had my fortunes and I've had my misfortunes in the sport of boxing. But alhamdulillah, I realize and I understand that through my faith that nothing happens without the permission of Allah. So I accept it. Regardless of what's happened to me in my life, I've always been accepting that everything happens by the will of Allah. So I'm not... It's like I'll give you a great example. I fought three weeks ago. Uh, and before uh, leaving my hotel to go to the venue, I made dua and I said, Ya Rab, please grant me the victory by any means necessary. And then I left and I fought. And during the fight, I was suffered some injuries to the right hand side of my chest and the opponent got disqualified and I won. And subhanAllah, when I was laying down later on, I thought to myself, Ya Allah, you know, I know I said by any means necessary, but was that the way? You know what I mean? So, alhamdulillah, at the end of the day, that's Allah's will for me, and I accept it. Whatever Allah's written for me, what, had I lost, I'm always thankful. If I win, I'm always thankful. You know, it's like, if I win, I pray. If I lose, I still pray. It's not like, oh, I'm going to get angry with God and say I'm not going to pray anymore. So, you know, I, I understood the importance of faith and my connection with Allah. And being able to talk to God and you know say Ya Rab, please grant me the victory Ya Rab, I'm asking you I'm kneeling to you Ya Rab, please grant me this victory you know so you know Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has never let me down when I needed it most.